Samuel Morse was working on his first experimental model. He built a telegraph that looked very strange indeed. An old clock mechanism on an easel pulled a paper strip step by step over a small box. The pencil for recording the transmission code was attached to a wooden triangle that was moved to and fro by an electromagnet. In 1837, in this seminar room at New York University, Morse presented his invention for the first time. His first telegraph is a complicated, cumbersome device that doesn't work very well. But it inspires a young man named Alfred Vail, who attends Morse's demonstration. Vail is the son of a wealthy ironworks owner in Morristown, New Jersey. Impressed with the demonstration, he offers to help Morse improve his telegraph. More importantly, he convinces his father to finance the effort and provide him with access to the ironworks' well-equipped workshop. For months, Vail works feverishly to make Morse's machine more efficient. Morse is busy with other commitments and rarely visits. Morse has created a complicated code system allocating a number for every word. When a signal comes through, the operator has to flip through thousands of pages in a code book to find the number that matches the word. This system is slow and cumbersome, and Vale believes he can do better. They discover that the letter E is the most commonly used letter, so they give that the shortest signal, a dot. That's where the dot and dash alphabet that we associate with the telegraph is actually born. All this work results in a patent for the electromagnetic telegraph machine, which is issued on June 20th, 1840. In 1844, here in the old U.S. Supreme Court in Washington, D.C., before astonished members of Congress, Sam Morse powers up his contraption and blows everybody away with what must have seemed a little short of magic. An instant message all the way from Baltimore, 45 miles away, he says, and here it comes now. Thank you. 